Hey teachers and parents, and welcome to Math Unlocked, where I get to offer you math strategies for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I'm the creator of McCarthy Math Academy, where I am on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. That way you can get out there and support the students that you work with. So we're gonna go over a fifth grade skill today, which is decomposing numbers with decimals. And at the end of this episode, if you're like, whoa, I could really use some more help with this, don't worry, I'll point you in the right direction for that. But for now, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, so decomposing numbers with decimals. Let's talk about what that word decompose means. It means to break down numbers with decimals. So here we have a number with a decimal right here. All right, and what I'm gonna do to get started is just to label my places that way we're all on the same track here. So if we're starting with a decimal, going to the left, this is the ones place. It's our first whole place that we have. Everything to the left of the decimal is a whole number. Everything to the right is part of a whole. So the three is in the ones place. The one is in the tens place. So here we have the number 13. The decimal point says and. Our zero right here is in the tenths place. The seven is in the hundredths place. And that two is in the thousandths place. Tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. They have that THS at the end. They're parts of a whole. Okay, now to break down this number, one way that we could do it would be to isolate each digit. We could say we have one ten plus we have three ones plus we have zero tenths plus seven hundredths plus two thousandths. That would be one way to break down or decompose the number. And you could write this all out. I know I'm kind of stacking it, but you could also write it out. That's the common way is to isolate each digit, but your students are going to see this a different way too. So let's bring down 13 and 72 thousandths and I want you to go ahead and box the 13, box the zero and the seven, and box the two, okay? So what we're doing is I'm just kind of creating a random arrangement of numbers. You'll see what I mean because we're gonna do this a few times. But we can make this 13 and that three lands in the ones place. So we have 13 ones plus zero seven, we could just say is seven hundredths because that seven is in the hundredths place, plus two thousandths. That would be another way to decompose this number. Let's do a couple more so you can see that I'm just kind of arranging these randomly. All right, this time, box the whole one, three, and zero, and box the 72. Again, I'm just boxing numbers randomly. So now we're going to list 100 30, that number that's in the first box, 130, and that zero lands in the tenths place. So we'll say 130 tenths plus 72 is in that second box, and that two lands in the thousandths place. So a way to decompose this number would be that it's also 130 tenths plus 72 thousandths. That's another way. Let's do another way. Let's do box the one, gonna box the 307, and then the two. Again, just pulling random numbers like this. So we have the one, that's 110, plus that one is in the tens place, so it represents 110. Not 110, but just one 10 stick, 10 rod. Then we have 307 in the next box. That seven lands in the hundredths place. So 307 hundredths. And then we have two in the last box that's in the thousandths place. Okay, that's another way. We'll do one more. Let's do the whole thing. Let's do this and then the two. Okay, so we have 1,307. That seven lands in the hundredths place. So that would be 1,307 hundredths, oh, I can't put my S on there, S plus two 
thousandths. Sorry, it's getting a little squished up there. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four, five different ways to decompose just this number alone. Once students get a hold of like boxing digits to decompose it, it makes it a lot more simple. Typically, they're going to see this in some kind of multi-select or multiple choice problem where they have to de recognize that the number is being decomposed in a way that's a little bit different like this. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely want to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, Definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast-style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for Taking on the Best, good news, Taking on the Fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.